Hey guys, it's Mishy back. So today I'm going to be doing another uh, haul video and I think after this one I'm going to be doing my January favorite so I'll probably to be uploading two videos today, I don't know. And um, so yeah, so I am doing my Hot Topic haul. I did get two things from Barnes & Noble. It was going to be just blind bags, but that didn't happen. Barnes & Noble was pretty much ransacked, and I went into Hot Topic and forgot what I was originally there for. <laughs> so I only got two blind boxes. Um, so I'm just going to be opening that today um, with my haul. And yeah, so the first thing that I'll show you that I got is what I'm wearing. I got a, uh, when you first walk in, they had a big, like, display of just horror merch. So they had Chucky and It, which I'm not a big fan of, and um, Nightmare on Elm Street and, you know, Halloween and stuff like that. So I got this Nightmare on Elm Street t-shirt. I'll show you real quick. It's got Freddy on it. And... Blood dripping stuff. So it's got like a foreshadow of Freddy on it, which is cool. Um, it's a little long, I don't know if you can tell, but I like it. Um, I uh, wanted, they had a red one that I wanted, but it, they only had it like on the display mannequin. They didn't actually have it there. And a lot of their t-shirts that they had were in my size, so I, because I really wanted an advent, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina shirt with her laying on the pentagram, but they didn't have it in my size, so I didn't get it. And one with just Negan's face on it, but again, they didn't have it in my size. Um, I did find this one, which I was going to wear in the video, but I tried it on and it's actually too small. It's not as, because I kind of wanted it oversized and it's a medium, so it's not. But this would be my first jersey. It's, I'll show it to you because I'm planning on exchanging it for a larger size. So I'll probably wear it in future videos. It's got a catacorn on it. Oops. Sleeves. And then on the back it says fancy on it. That. And uh, from Barnes and Noble, I got I did end up getting two things. I got a Harry Potter calendar, which is already up, and I got the first Harry Potter book. I got it in the black and white. I'm currently reading uh, this one still, but oh, this is so that's what I got. They had. Um, a whole bunch of Harry Potter stuff. They have a whole bunch of the Noble collection, and I really want, I like the illustration of it, and I really want, um, the, uh, some of the wands. Like, I want Snape's wand, and I want Dumbledore's army wands with the stand. It's kind of like the scroll that they sign, um, but those are kind of expensive, so maybe for my birthday, maybe some other time, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so that's all I got from Words of Double and then my shirt, and then it, they were, Hot Topic was having a sale, it was buy two shirts, get one free or something like that. And I guess that jersey counted as a t-shirt, so I did get, I did find this one. I got it in a medium, so it's not too small, but I mean... If you guys have read my Walking Dead fan fiction, which you should, it's uh, on Tumblr and Blogspot. I'll probably link it down below. I got this Walking Dead shirt, and it says, I am Negan, which is a bloody Lucille in the middle. Because we are all Negan. 
such a cultish thing to say. It's so true. Um, okay, so that's the clothes I got. I'm pretty sure that's all the clothes I got, yeah. And then I did get uh, some makeup that was in clearance. Uh, one I'm actually wearing. I got this Harley Quinn and the Skull Bag, which is kind of like a, a rock band. It was on clearance for $10.99 at the lip collection. It has three pigmented lip glosses. I'm actually wearing one of them. So that's the lip gloss and I'll show you. This is the, they don't have like their own, you know, cool names, like uh, some, like most lipsticks and lip glosses have, unfortunately. Just this pigmented lip gloss, Harley Quinn, the skull bag, so it's a little symbol on it. This is the one I am have on now. And it's got a little skull on it. I'm wearing it so you can really dark as it is. So it's pretty good. I like it. Um, and then this one is a much lighter, kind of like a pinkish orange. Again, I wish they had names. Sorry, that's my dog. Here, look at the skull. So yeah, it's a lot lighter. Very bright one. And then you have the black one. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Yeah, that's better. So this one's very black. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. You can see it, but it does have a little bit of a shine. And I got one more. It was buy one, get the other like half off or something, and they were both ten dollars. This is a Clueless one, and I grew up watching Clueless. It's my probably my all-time favorite movie. Um, well, besides, like, I think the other two would probably be Princess Bride and Dirty Dancing, but this, yeah, I, I love Clueless. I wanted to dress like Dion <laughs> when I was younger, or Cher, but... And so it looks like a little notebook and it opens up and it's got all these. It's got a little heart mirror that says you're a total Betty on it, which means babe. And look, you can see my <laughs> little shell. And the color says some people are not lucky enough to be as naturally adorable as you are. And it's got, these are the colors. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I thought, you guys, okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this looks like a feather pencil. It's a brush. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. That is too cute. That's cute. It says clueless on it. That is adorable. Didn't even notice that. Did not even notice that. That's adorable. That is adorable. Didn't even know that was a brush. Nope. 
did not. Okay. So. Okay, so. Anyway. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. That's cool. I finally have another brush. So anyway, and the brush just goes in here. Um, so these are the colors. Let me take off this. Well, I don't, I don't really want to do taking that off right now. But there is a pink one that says whatever. A, like a maroon one. This is totally buggin'. A purple one that says fabulous. A black one that says homies. A, like a light blue one that says makeover. A yellow one. Yeah, a yellow one that says oops. A brown one that says D for Dion. Is that just brown? It's kind of racist. Anyway, maybe not. I don't know. A sparkly. I don't know if you can see how sparkly some of them are. Here, let me see. Let me just see how sparkly some of them are like really sparkly. I don't know. You can see that. Yeah, you can see the black a little bit. Uh, this is Total Betty. Uh, another pigment one that says Fashion Victim. It's like an orangey one. A nut. Geez, how many black ones? Why are there two black ones? There should be like another pink one. Anyway, there's two. Anyway, this is Picky. Yes, I am. A gold sparkly one that says Ugh, as if. And a reddish sparkly one that says Woman. <laughs> Which is what Murray um, used to call Dion all the time and she hated it. Okay, so, yeah, I think, yep, that's it. It's really cute. I like it. I do wish that it didn't have as many blacks. Like, I don't know why it needs two blacks. When it could have had, like, a lavender or something. But, yeah, okay. But, yeah, but I, other than that, I really do like it, though. I did not know this was an eyeshadow brush, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so those are the two makeups that I got. Okay, and the rest that I got are just pops. They were having a buy free for 27. So I didn't know because I, I watch um, Star and Star vs. the Forces of Evil. And I didn't know that they had. Um, I knew that they were coming out with Star and Marco and Star Butterfly and her yellow, you know. When she's dreaming and so I knew they came out with those, but I didn't know they came out with two more, three more, two more. I didn't know that they came out with Ludo and Tom. And those are like besides Ponyhead, which I don't know how they would do. Um, besides Ponyhead and Janet. Janet's the kind of a culty friend of Marco's, isn't she? I think it's I think it's Janet, not Jenna. Because I think Jenna's the one that he likes. Either Jenna or Janet. I can't remember her name. Well, anyway, besides her and um, Ponyhead, Ludo and Tom are my favorite characters on there. Um, so, I had to get the Ludo pop. And since I'm going to take them out and put them on my villain's shelf anyway, I will just take them out of the box to show you. Maybe I should have taken it out from the bottom. figure. It's really nice. So here's Ludo. There's Skull Hat. Just poked it up. Wand. That's pretty cool. He looks cool. This is Ludo before he became, I don't know, possessed by the evil wand. Well, possessed by Star's wand. So you didn't really give it away, but yeah, that's pretty cute, and he sits pretty nicely. And I got Tom. I don't know, I really consider him a villain. I I mean, I think of him kind of, I mean, he kind of is because he lives in hell, yada yada yada. 
cut it, I guess, but, um, I don't know, I think it was kind of neutral, like, I don't know, neutral chaotic, maybe. Because him and, him and uh, Marco kind of have, like, a friendly rivalry thing going on, and he's dating Star, so I don't consider he's really light oh cute yeah see okay he, that's cute he's got little what is the yellow for what is the yellow uh oh i don't like that noise hmm okay well i don't like that noise but nothing i could do about it um so he's holding a rose and he's he's got I guess this is an everyday outfit. I never really looked at it that closely. He's got a rose with his hand. Why is that lying on my phone? Oh, hopefully it doesn't show up on camera. I don't know what that is. Oh, there we go. I don't know what's what that noise is, so hopefully it's nothing too broken in there. I mean, he doesn't look like he lost anything, so... Okay, so that's Tom. He needs his stand. He definitely needs a stand. Is there a stand in there? Yes. Okay. So yeah, he needs his stand. Ludo doesn't need a stand, but Tom does. Okay, and the last one I got was Duella Dent, Hot Topic Exclusive DC Comic Bombshells. Um I don't remember her from the comics because it's been a while since I've read them. I guess, uh, from what I've been told, she goes back and forth between being the daughter of the Joker and the daughter of Two-Face. She looks like she's very Joker-esque in this one. And they do have Supergirl, Hawk Girl, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, and Batwoman all in. It's a bit different. I kind of want Batwoman. I'll pick her out of the box since I'm going to be putting her with my, my Harley Quinn and Joker shelf. She would probably need a stand. She's light too. So she's got this red hair with little curls going up. Like that. And yeah, she's very Joker. Like, look, it's very Joker. She's got like this uh, um, staff. But she's also very, like, voodoo ish too. She has a stick with Joker's head on it. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's like a mask. So. So in this one, she's very Joker-esque, but her last name is Dent, so. Hmm. Write a fan fiction about that. So Two-Face the Joker had a baby. <laughs> and the surrogate was Harley Quinn. No. <laughs> That's a lot cuter than my other idea. So that's her. She will... Probably need the stand. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. No, I think she stands up fine by herself. Okay, so those are the three Funko Pops I got. And then I got two blind boxes. I got a little um, horror blind box lapel pens or enamel pens. because of the tape stuff but those are the ones you can get so pretty much it uh the shining friday the 13th nightmare on elm street and like i don't know i don't really recognize the other ones i want the nightmare on elm street one <laughs> like i think there's maybe two nightmare on elm street ones but i can't tell um I wish there weren't so many it ones because it's I just don't like it. I don't I'm not a big clown person. So I'm I bought this one, I should have got two. Uh for the Nightmare on Elm Street because that's my number one. I wouldn't be too mad to get the red rum one or the Friday the thirteenth one, but I mainly want the Freddy one. And then I got this called Thimble Stump Hollow. I have never heard of these before, but they look really cute. And I guess 
it's series two but i've never heard of them it looks really cute these are all the ones that you can get on it on it they look really cute i don't know so yeah blossom moth pup wobblier wobbler looks cute jasper periwinkle woolworth chicory fuzzhorn and pip so there's a, a big monster with a little monster on top of its head tortoise oh it looks like a turtle and gim nibbler which looks like he's gnawing on a, a crystal these look these these look really cute i just i never knew about them i know they had series two so i guess first we're gonna open the enamel pen and hope i get the freddy one I really glue these ones. Jeez. If I can open it. <sighs> Hope I get the pen I want. And I want some kid robot pens. I just I just saw reviews on them and I was like, oh I want like practically all of them. They're so cool. Oh my. Did I get it? No. That's okay. All right. No, I didn't. I got the red rum axe from The Shining, but I, I like that pen. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Maybe I'll put it on my jean jacket. Yeah, I'll keep that one. All right. So lastly, we have this one. I want to keep the box, but that's okay. I'll get another one. Who are these by? Amanda Lewis Spade and Chris Raniac. Cardboard Spaceship and Dust Bunny? I don't know. Never heard of the company. Because it looks like, like a kid robot thing. Okay. Well, they do come in this bag. Yeah, Cardboard Spaceship, I guess, is the brand. And, and Dust Bunnies. Well, they leave a lot of room. Is there a tear strip anywhere? Yeah, up here. Get out of the way. Try and open the tear strip. There we go. Let's get some of the green. Wow. Which one is this? This is cute. Oh, this is cute. This one I got. It's a rabbit with a flower. That is, that's adorable. These are pretty cool. They, they smell strong out of the package, but they don't air out. It's a cute little bunny. Oh. It looks like a bunny anyway. I don't know. It could be something else. Oh, because I, I got Blossom. It says plus rare limited edition colors. So I got a rare limited edition color. My first box. Blossom. I kind of would like the original because it's, it's pastel color. <laughs> but this is really cute. That's cool. This is a really cute pink bug eye. So I'll be getting more of these. They they had a bunch of Hot Topics, so I'll be getting more of these. I think uh, when I go back, I'm just going to be doing a blind bag run, hopefully, and exchanging that shirt. So. Maybe checking the clearance aisle, but nothing else. I don't know. So hopefully I can just focus on the blind bags and blind boxes. Which is really cute. So... Yeah, so I, I'd, I'd have to say, like, as far as, like, the figures go, I'm not going to say what, like, my favorite thing that I got was, because it'd probably be the Clueless eye palette. I really love this bunny, and it's really cute. But, like, my two favorites, of course, have to be Ludo and Tom. So, yeah, so let me know on down below what your favorite thing that I got was or what you picked up at Hot Topic and if you have any of the uh the uh Thimble Stump Hollow figures maybe you know I could get season one at or series one and yeah so I will see you next time bye